So assortative mating is when like seeks like. So, for example, in humans, we know there's certain physical traits, such as height. Taller people seek out taller people for partners. Shorter people seek out shorter people on psychosocial dimensions. So educational history, ethnicity, income levels all show some degree of assortative mating. A lot of debate over how much of this is cultural biases, how much is family learning, how much might be some innate biological drive. A very limited amount of data suggesting that there is assortative mating regarding ADHD. Some of the recent studies on looking at genetic nurturance found a pattern of assortative mating regarding ADHD. Men and women with ADHD are more likely to have children together. Implications both for the treatment of ADHD. So if you are more likely to have one or both parents with ADHD, that could affect what treatments are reasonable or likely to be carried out. It also has significant impact on genetic studies where often the assumption is that there is random assorting going on with parenting. The other side of the coin, disassortative mating, is also probably possible with ADHD, and that is where individuals with ADHD seek the opposite for their partners. They seek people who are highly organized, linear, controlled, and restrained. But we need a lot more data to know to what extent either of these processes are going on.